What's up? My name is Ken Dumbo, the MC with the sauce. Don't forget to subscribe to Jayku. That they must behave. First of and, all, and are you justifying? Just, just as, as a writer, no, not that we're, we're cutting you off, chair. Mm. As, as I read what Chesa asked, are you supporting that insulting behavior by your cadres that happened at the Drug Enforcement Commission? The police are there to investigate and guide us and uh, a thorough report will be given to relevant authorities mm. and by such a time we cannot preempt uh, what uh, instigated or agitated the youths to start speaking in the manner they were speaking. But in South, in clearly we are living in the 21st century mm. where things don't seem as you see them. Uh, if you want to misguide yourself you can believe always by what you hear on first sight or uh, what you see on first sight. You haven't seen those videos, have you? So we would have been guided in a proper way if at all. You could also pray because but we can't people can pray politics. We can't. They may be people from the same political party uh, who are dissatisfied with their alliances with Uku and O and they start insulting each other. But, uh, How does the UPND get involved? Well, well it's so, so easy. They were wearing UPND regalia. How many people wear PF regalia that we stand with and yet they are not PF? So are you telling us that so, you are so, so, not so, identified? No, but also, so here's the thing. Honorable, uh, Honorable Liswaniso, Honorable, um, your, your, your provincial national, your provincial chairperson equally apologized and took responsibility that those are our people and we take responsibility and we apologize to the nation and President Edgar Lungo. But you are speaking a different From language, Chairman. From the statement that which I laid, I'm a, I'm a deputy national youth chairperson in charge of politics and mobilization. Mm -hmm. So mobilization of the youth is my role and duty. Mm. And uh, Chairman uh, Diswaniso indeed is my supervisor. Indeed. And from his, the extract from his statement is that the party is doing everything possible to identify those and he apologized too and, and he apologized and took responsibility he took responsibility because he's our leader and I'm speaking to you because the investigations are not yet done how do you want me hmm. to think and uh, fine-tune my thinking in the way that which he was in the mood he was at that, that particular day hmm. there are issues in this country and the issues in this country we have had a former head of state talking to a Rukasha member of parliament, mm. telling him that Fima ambulance nga marifikene, Fima randi kuza pa waka pokra nga nga marifikene, ni finche mulesu mina. And when you look at Rukasha, the landmass of Rukasha is almost half the size of Copper Belt province. So a person who brings the land cruiser to help the people, you say nga marifikene. Ni enda rama inaya CDF nga tamwa ibo mfeshi. Then what are we talking about in terms of economic uh, sharing the national cake in a fair way and in a justifiable manner and having a social discourse that which can build the country. Then you want to guide a national deputy national youth chairman on oh, how to talk properly. Oh, what when you are failing to guide mm. our uncle who is a former head of state, where are we fellow youths? If these cadres are identified as UPND cadres, those that were insulting former President Edgar Lungu, would you take them through the disciplinary well, uh, processes that, it is that, the party, that the party must it take. It is acceptable because the authorities already spoke, so we cannot be able to, re, to recite as if we are studying the word of God here. Mm. It, what is <laughs> right will be fought and done. <laughs> well, this is politics. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, interesting, <laughs> interesting, Chair. Um, you speak about <laughs> issues and uh, what you went through under the, the patriotic front, but I think the biggest question you know, that you keep facing every day is on the, is on the cost of living. Others are saying that you failed, you know, Chair, to, to, to really address the high cost of living. What are you telling to the people that believed so much in the UPND to address the high minimum prices, to address the depreciation of our currency, and, and, and to address the many prices of commodities that have gone high? How are you looking at people in the face that you promise that things are going to be better when you win the elections? I'm not as political when it comes to issues of uh, food production. I'm a very austere man and reasonable human being. As a politician, I can wear a different jacket. When it comes to issues of uh, social economic status of our country, I do believe and have called on many other Zambian youths, including new people in the media fraternity, that we should come up 
together uh, agree that at family level, first of all, at individual level, we can produce food. At family level, we can also produce food. Community level, we can also com uh, produce food. And uh, when we combine whatever we produce, the excess we can sell, the, the other share we can keep for our families. Mm. We have seen a lot of talk in the studios. I mean, this government having to talk about the increment on the floor price of maize, which we found at 150 quart. Yeah. And as it stands now, the black market value, I was in Kasempa, in Chief Nyoka, 250 kilometers as you come towards Ngawe. I bought a 50 kg bag of uh, maize at 550 quart. Mm. I had witnesses on that particular day in the bush. What it means, therefore, is that a farmer who produces has got money. To you and me who like talking and copying and paste based on what is happening, who only may want to take the Zambian scenario? Are you aware today we are seated in this studio? The same social economic pressure that which Zambia is facing in Nigeria, the minimum wage cannot even buy a bag of rice. People right now, there is a national shutdown in Nigeria where people are talking about them having to get paid a $300. Mm. Against our people here in Zesco, $300, we have people that are getting more than that. So when you complain, you complain, you complain mm. without comparison. And let's not live in the past, comrades. The government, as, under as, the as, new donor administration... As a way of taking responsibility, Chairman, you were campaigning with your colleague, Liswaniswa, across the country, yes. looking at people in the face and telling yes. them that the, the, the leadership of the PF is criminal and has run down this economy. Yes. You promised people cheaper fuel. You promised people cheaper millimeter. You promised people a good life. Today, Chairman, you can go in any shop. A bag of millimeter is not as you promised. Thank you so much. The bag, of millimil, the bag of millimil does not just become a bag of millimil. The bag of millimil moves from maize. You had a government that which never paid 258,000 farmers for three solid years. The new dawn government came in and told them that we are paying you within 48 hours. They were paid. You had the retirees. People were standing at Ministry of Justice, others fainting from there into the mortuary into UTH. People are not being paid their terminal benefits. There's a 20% NAPSA withdraw, partial withdraw, where other people have had access to monies. Others are sick. Others have, have been also bedridden due to the nature of the works that which they were exposed to. This new dawn government, dear colleagues out there, including new comrades in the media, fraternity, is a compassionate government. It has got empathy and sympathy to live in harmony with everybody. The narrative is clear. Mirimiu does not just become a Mirimiu bag mm. in the shop. Mirimiu is processed from the cost of the bag of Mirimiu. The benefits are that a common and average farmer out there in the rural and the remotest parts of our country is benefiting and is having a ripe deal, unlike a raw deal. We promise people a good life especially the farmers that were marginalized mm. all over the country in the remotest parts of our country we can talk over uh, uh, chief sandwich area in the mm. eastern province we can talk of uh, chief naburi a constituency in ruapola we can talk of uh, are you changing the story today Sinazongwe. what Chairman. change are we talking about oh, talking we about are telling the zambian people and like the negative opinionated political journalism. We have seen people that want to retort and argue with the reality. The cost of living mm. is a talk that which one is selling 230 ZNS bag yeah. of minimum against a 50 kg bag being sold mm. official price at 330. Mm. Even a farmer who brings a 50 kg bag of maize, he can sell, get a change to buy a 25 kg of minimum, get himself a 2 liters Mm. But, but the, 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 reason, the reason I'm asking is because the people in Mutendere that might understand, you know, what, what you're trying to explain, Chairman, the only hope that they had was that if I vote for this man called HH, I'm going to have a good life. I'm going to have, I'm going to afford to take my child to school because, Thank you. you know, now just, of, just, of, of, just of on that, city. just yes. as you are also interrupting me, yeah. if you talk about education, the social shocks, social economical shocks that which have been 
lifted off or ameliorated off the burdens and the shoulders of the Zambians. Among them is education. That's not true. There is no school fees are mm. being paid. That's not true. I agree with you, Chairman. I What's up? My name is Ken Dumbo, the MC with the sauce. Don't forget to subscribe to Jeku. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Jeku, and turn on the notification bell, because I'm going to see you in the next video.